if you choose not to be, even if I may not agree, if you choose not to be with a shorter person, hey, that's your choice. As long as you tell me up front, we Gucci. That's it. I don't care. I am short. I am fi- Look at me. I, I'm short. I'm 5'5". Five five. So you tell me, how is that not the same exact thing? Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Watch TV, and today we have a very, very interesting topic to talk about. So, The Cut actually posted a video on October 21st, and the video is called Blindfolded People Go Speed Dating, The Button. So, this went stupid viral on Twitter, and a lot of you have uh, pointed me in this direction, and I found it very interesting, because in the video, there is a guy who is blindfolded and he is hugging the girls to basically see if they are overweight or not. Um, at least that's, I don't know if that's true in his case, but that's what it appears to be. And it went stupid viral on Twitter and people started to call this guy fat phobic, which was very interesting to me because from what I understand, the definition of fat phobia is an abnormal and irrational fear of being fat or being around fat people it has nothing to do with wanting to have sex with them or having them as a partner so and this you guys can look up this definition that is the definition that i found so let's briefly look at a certain part of this video that he is in and let's just let's just see what people are talking about okay let's see so thanks to twitter i already saw like the most like vital parts of this video but i want to share it with you guys if you haven't seen it yet so i'm gonna watch it again and i'm gonna watch it with you guys oh no i just heard a big gasp from the <laughs> room. i think i'm not villain number one hi i'm nathan hello it's nice to meet you it's nice to meet you i'm sam samantha how are you doing today um i'm doing good so in terms of in terms of dating what is something that is like an automatic deal breaker i can be really chatty sometimes and i've had a lot in my past where people will like i'll talk about something and then i'll just cut me off i need someone who will listen to me what is something that you watch by yourself that's a guilty pleasure that you don't tell anybody I'm i mean curious. i watch a lot of anime i watch me too a lot if that isn't fucking apparent like jesus christ she's dr she's dressed like a demon slayer character a lot of asian shows like korean dramas what is your type i'm definitely very into asian men it's not like a now that is very important listen to what she says right and then we're going to look at a tweet she's very attracted to asian men and i think she said white men so just keep that in mind deal breaker anything what race do you think i am i have no idea i don't <laughs> i don't want to make assumptions you want to take a guess I would say like maybe white to Asian, maybe. I am Asian, actually. Oh. Yeah. Can oh. we talk? Sure. Okay. You see how excited she got. Okay, now this is where he hugs her, obviously, and look what happens right afterwards. Hi. How are you? Good. You're giving me a hug. You do. Hi, Nathan. We get along on a lot of different topics, but I felt that it was something where I could become a really good friend with you. Yeah, um, yeah. That's just kind of a gut feeling for me. No. All right, so that was literally the gist of the video, right? And this happens, like, I think a couple of more times with different women. Okay, so when he said, I just feel like, you know, we could be friends, that means I know I'm not going to be attracted to you because I felt you, I, I hugged you and you were a little wider and I know I'm not going to be attracted to you. That's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Now, the only issue is probably, I, the only issue that I could come up with was the fact that this is supposed to be a blind, like a real blind date. Like you're supposed to be blindfolded. Uh, you should not be able to touch the other person, but those rules should have been set by the cut and they weren't. So he was just being smart. Now, if you are not attracted to someone who is bigger, male or female, that's okay. That's okay. So 
I wanted to bring this up because I saw this tweet. One of you sent me this tweet and I was like, huh, that's, that's funny. So this tweet says this video is misleading because Nathan, the dude that buzzed her, hugged her, ev hugged every single girl that sat down. And when he realized they were fat, he immediately pressed the buzzer. This dude is actually fat phobic. So you guys heard me read the definition of fat phobia, right? Matter of fact, I'm going to read it one more time for you guys. One more time. I'm going to show you too, just so, just so you know I'm not capping, right? Just so you know I'm not capping. Look, further, fat phobia is an abnormal and irrational fear of being fat or being around fat people. So you all just read that, right? Is that what's going on here? No, because if he had a real fear of being around fat people after he figured out like how big she was by hugging her, he, I'm sure his reaction would have been different instead of saying, I think we'd be better as friends. How is this fat phobia? There is this weird, weird stigma going around that if you are not willing to date or have sex with a certain hell even a certain race a certain type of person or whatever you're either racist or you're some sort of like you have some sort of phobia which is very funny because when it's on the other side of the spectrum when it's women women to men there usually isn't a problem guys i'm short i am a short male i am five five right i'm fucking five five i have been denied by women before specifically because of my height and now this is not me being petty or shaming anybody. Look, I'm good. I'm gonna I'm getting married in February. I'm straight. All right. And that's never bothered me before. That just means I had to work harder, but that's cool. That's fine. You know why? Because those are your preferences. If you choose not to be, even if I may not agree, if you choose not to be with a shorter person, hey, that's your choice. As long as you tell me up front, we Gucci. That's it. I don't care. I am short. I am fi- Look at me. I- I'm short. I'm 5'5". Five five. So you tell me. How is that not the same exact thing? The man has a preference. He likes what he likes. And if he does not want someone who's bigger- that's fine that's fine but it's okay right it's okay when a woman says oh no i need a man to be six feet i need him to earn this much money i need to you got brokeophobia you scared of broke people why is it okay then i need a man to be six you got short phobia you afraid of short people how is this not the same thing somebody the double standard is fucking wild okay it's so crazy Nathan, it's okay if you don't like big, if you don't like bigger women. It's completely fine. He is not fat phobic, and I'm sick of you people putting this shit down our throats, right? There have been literal individuals. There have been so many people who have been been accused of being transphobic just because they do not want to date a trans individual. How does that make sense? I want to have kids naturally you can't give them to me so therefore i do not want to marry you i do not want to date you it's fine i'm not saying there's anything wrong with trans people and yes i know there's other avenues of getting a child but they are also more expensive like i i understand but at this at the same time if that's what you want that's what you want it's okay it's all right so guys let me know what you think in the comments down below do you agree with anything what, that I said? Do you disagree? Do you think I'm fat phobic? Or are you short phobic? Huh? Hmm? Yeah. Are you? Seriously, to me, in my eyes, it's the same thing. We all have preferences, and I think it is okay, just as long as you're not a dick about it. And I don't even think he was a dick about it. I just think he said we'd just be better off as friends. He didn't say, ah, you're too big for me. Then I'd have been like, all right, dude, you didn't have to say that. But let me know what you think. Let me know what you think. Uh, again, do not forget to share, like, and subscribe, and follow me on my social media. My Instagram and my Twitter is at WatchTV94. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.